In other parts of Asia, legal equality for the LGBT community is moving the exact opposite direction, towards intolerance and state-sanctioned violence. In Aceh province in Indonesia, the world's largest Muslim-majority country, Sharia law is now being enforced legally. And yesterday, two men arrested for having sex were publicly caned. These 20-year-old men were caned 83 times by three enforcers who took turns lashing them for breaking Islamic law. Human rights advocates compared the beatings to medieval torture, and the echoes are hard to ignore. Saya baru pertama kali untuk menghadiri acara puncak bukan. Awalnya sih ingin melihat, ingin melihat langsung pastinya sakit itu secara manusiawi. Tapi secara secara logikanya gitu kan kak. Kita kalau udah berbuat berarti tanggung jawab resikonya itu kan. Makanya azasnya itu adalah di depan umum orang yang sudah dihukum itu dan orang yang sudah dihukum itu sendiri merasa malu dan tidak mengulangi lagi. The couple was arrested in March after neighborhood vigilantes broke into their rented room and recorded them having sex. In Aceh, homosexuality is punishable with up to 100 lashes, 100 months in jail, or with a fine of up to 2.2 pounds of gold, or about $40,000. It's the only province in Indonesia where it's officially criminalized, currently. This man, who identifies as gay, was willing to talk on camera as long as we distorted his voice and obscured his face. Jadi kita kehilangan hak privasi kita. Kalau kamu sudah dihukum di depan umum, tentu akan mendapat tekanan psikologis yang amat berat, rasa malu, rasa rendah diri, dan sebagainya. Some politicians in the country have expressed quote concerns about the activism of the LGBT community. Others have called for the criminalization of gay sex in their provinces. And in the capital Jakarta on Sunday, 141 men were rounded up for attending what police described as a gay sex party. The arrests appear to be part of a rising tide of virulent homophobia. Menjadi gay dan terbuka itu masih jauh. Masih jauh. Menjadi gay yang terbuka kemudian hidup di lingkungan sehari-hari itu masih jauh. <laughs>